before Assassin's Creed tries to shake off the stink of all the video game movies that came before. And I'm going to kick that son of a bitch Bison's ass so hard. Two films would challenge the rule that game adaptations suck and more or less confirm it. I forgot. We're fighting for the fate of the world. Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation. You remember Mortal Kombat for its pixelated ultraviolence. Now, get ready for two PG-13 movies that could really use a blood code, as they never deliver on the franchise's gory gimmick. But boy, do they manage to cram in everything else. It's my animality. Finish him. Fatality. Flawless victory. Get over here! They even put in the underground hamster ball network. Wait, that's not from the game? Then what the hell was that then? Enter the ultimate high-stakes fight club, where the fate of the world is decided by who can beat the most ass. But these no-holds-barred brawls have only one rule. There are actually a fair amount of rules. The rules are quite clear. To enter the realm of Earth, Shang Tsung have to win 10 straight victories in Mortal Kombat. Your sacred rules have been broken. There is one last rule. I hereby exercise yeah. my right to challenge. She has to accept the challenge, or there can be no final combat. The rules say the Earth is safe for another generation. Obviously, Khan has cheated and broken the rules. Yeah, follow the rules, you guys. And also, if I put a quarter up on the machine, it means I got next, okay? Meet a sprawling cast made up of fighters who can't act. Khan wants you to go after her. Don't. Actors who can't fight. <laughs> Sorry. And people who can't really do either. Mother, you're alive. Too bad you will die. As you meet the heroes, then meet them all again when they're recast in the sequel. Raiden? It's a new look. There's Liu Kang, the boring monk whose luscious mullet is the most interesting part of his character. Johnny Cage, the only one with any charisma. Oh man! Sonya Blade, who's here to snap necks and be objectified. And she's all out of necks to snap. Nice dress. Kitana, a 10,000-year-old master of the seductive look and flute. That has to be Princess Kitana. When a woman looks at you like that, it usually means something. Raiden, god of exposition. You have been chosen to defend the realm of Earth in a tournament called Mortal Kombat. All the lazy color-swapped ninjas, all the lazy color-swapped robots, and some animator's bad CGI demon fetish. <laughs> you know, these actually look pretty good for a Sega Genesis game. But who cares about plot or character? This movie is all about the action, and these movies have some of that. Feast your eyes on over a dozen choppily edited generic martial arts battles against wave after wave of faceless karate goons and a claymation finale that will have you saying, This is hilarious! I can't believe someone actually made this, watched it, and then still released it! So if you love the Mortal Kombat games for their stories and don't like actually playing them, watch actors put on Halloween costumes of your favorite characters, then act out the windscreens of the first two games. But there's still one thing in these movies that the games could never match. The most epic theme song ever. And they are not going to let you forget it. Bonus trailers! Woohoo! Who wants to fight? Or at least play some laser tag or something, yo! I'm psyched! Starring Oh Veronica Vaughn, so hot. Want to touch the Heine? Mullet Comeback. The Skylander. Old Cock Punch and Johnny. Frigid Air. Palms are deadly, knees weak, arms is heavy. Only, only, only one oi oi oi. Dr. Quatropus. Down back low kick. Back back low punch. Hold down high punch. Hosty. And Shang Tsung standing up. Exit the dragon. Uh, you know she's 10,000 years old, right? Way to pull a reverse twilight. I'd still tap that though.
Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Hey, Screen Junkies, can't get enough of my buttery voice? Then click the box on the right to see my epic voice review of Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. And while you're there, check out tons of other epic voice reviews, trailer reactions, and original content featuring me, the Epic Voice Guy. What are you waiting for? Do it now! I'm one with the Force, and the Force is with me. What, we have some kind of collateral beauty? Do you even read my Christmas list? Cinnamon Toast Crunch for brunch. Why you stuck up half-witted scruffy-looking nerf herder? What's the boat's name in Titanic?